back and so my name's Antoinette if you are new here today I am just sitting down to get ready for the day I'm actually about to go on a date you guys I know if you've been following me on Instagram I've been showing you lots of little sneak peeks so definitely follow me there I will leave that down below I wanted to just sit down and get ready with you guys I have some new makeup products I've been dying to try like cute blush and lipstick everything I love like color for the face I'm about to go on a fun day date it's a Sunday we're gonna go to brunch we're also going to go to like the botanical garden Garden slash natural history museum science center is over there as well it's such a cute area I've never actually been there but I looked it up um, and it looks really cute so I think it'd be fun and I love doing this type of stuff like in general but especially on a day date like a cute brunch and a museum is so adorable so yeah I can't wait to go I will make sure I insert some clips after this so you guys can kind of see what I got up to today I am showing you this gorgeous adorable makeup brand called into you cosmetics it is so cute I love the packaging this brand has gorgeous packaging everything is cutesy girly and pink i have to start out on a high note with these adorable blushes these are called pudding pot lip and cheek clay first of all they come in these little like cute little buckets they're actually so cute but what i love about these blushes the most is their texture they're like souffle meets a mousse they're like clay mixed together i would call it more of a moussey texture very bouncy very pigmented try out this lighter pink one this is in the color sandalwood rose it's really really buildable so you never have to worry about a too much you use it on your lips and your cheeks I'm gonna dust a little bit on my eyes because I like a little bit of pinkness on my eyelids I even like to put a little bit of blush on my nose please this has got to be my favorite product that they make that I've tried so far I'm gonna go with the same exact product in cherry bliss on my other cheek just because I want to show you guys a difference this one definitely is a darker pink those are my favorite new blushes that I've tried in a really long time. I just love the texture and they make them in a bunch of different colors. I'm gonna apply some of the pot lip and cheek clay on my lips now. I have this really interesting tool that I've actually never seen before. This is like a silicone lip brush. I've never seen anything like this. The end of it is super bouncy and cushiony and soft and I just feel like this would give you the most stunning application. So we're gonna try it out together. This is actually the first time I'm trying one of these lip brushes. The product is so bouncy, it's cushiony and lightweight so has a really rich matte finish I didn't think that this would even apply very well it's curved so it's really easy to apply lipstick to your cupid's bow the feeling is very weightless it's got a rich matte finish but it feels weightless and very comfortable on the lips it's actually very soft it almost feels like I have nothing on for my cheeks I want to set my blush with this gorgeous blush they're in the mood blush and this is in the color show off this blush has such an interesting velvety texture I've never felt any blush like this it almost feels like like if a mousse product was to be compact in a blush. This is more of a velvety finish and I just like that kind of baby doll pop of pink. So I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that on. Next, I'm gonna go in with this fun eyeshadow. This is their party single eyeshadows in the color Boom 04. Everything is really buildable. So you can go in with a really thick layer and do completely opaque or you can sheer it out and just have a nice glittery highlight. But I just want like a sheer, that's even more than I want. It's so pigmented. I just want a very, very sheer layer. I wiped off that cheek clay because I have to show you a couple more colors. This lipstick is going to be one of my new favorites. I've been looking for the perfect red, like a deep red that is sexy and sultry. This is called the Soft Matte Lip Clay in the color Ruby. It has the most creamy, lightweight, matte texture obsessed with this lip color it's the perfect shade of red that i've been looking for it's perfect for fall and winter like dark sultry red but also really soft not drying whatsoever last but not least for the lip color that i'm actually going to wear today this is definitely more of a lip gloss in a lipstick form this is our glowing lipstick in color gl07 it's got a very shiny glossy finish I really love the way that this turned out, guys. You guys have to check out Into You Cosmetics in the description box below if you wanna check out any of these products. They have so kindly sponsored this portion of today's video. Let's go ahead and get dressed and go on.
is time to make liner. I'm literally making food so early today, even though I wanted to save this for dinner. Um, I don't care, I'm starving. I've been wanting to make this for the longest time. Famous onion boil, onion broil. I don't actually know what it's called, but I've seen it all over TikTok and it looks unbelievable. I love onions, I love raw onions, I love cooked onions, but this onion broil looks unbelievable. Every time I see someone eating it, I'm like, Oh my God, I'm craving that and I've never even tried it before. So we're gonna make that today together and I'm gonna show you how to make it, it's super easy. I'm also gonna make some broccoli just for like a little veg, I need veg. I also haven't really eaten anything today so my appetite is massive. Chicken bouillon for the onion. You have to have foil because of the way that it cooks, you want the foil wrapped around the onion. Foil. Then, then we're going to peel the onion. Now we're gonna peel the onion. I'm just gonna chop off both sides and then peel off the outside skin. Take the core out of the middle of the onion. Every single person I've seen done this tutorial, I don't see any tears. How are people making this on TikTok and not bawling their eyes out? It doesn't make any sense to me. You guys, that's crazy. Okay. I cored the onion. I sat her on the foil. We're gonna make a little melted butter with lots of seasonings. Butter, of course. Lots of butter. My onion and my melted butter. I'm just gonna melt some of the butter in the middle of the onion. For the rest of the butter, I'm gonna add my seasonings to the butter. I'm gonna use some garlic salt, tons of garlic salt, because I love garlic. This chicken bouillon. You literally can just do whatever spices you want. I just felt like this would be the easiest without me having to buy a bunch of different spices. I'm gonna do lots of salt as well. Add some paprika, and I'm gonna add some parsley flakes as well. And I'm gonna stir this up, and then I'm just gonna pour this right on top. Probably could use a little more butter, but whatever. And then, just... then I'm gonna throw this in the oven on 375 for about 40 to 50 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to cook the steak, the veggies, and the rice. I had to cook this for so long. I swear I cooked it for like an hour and a half. Word on the street is that it's not as oniony as like a regular sliced onion, of course. I added some more spices to the top and butter. And then I still feel like my onion is not cooked enough. I'm not gonna lie. And then you have to put the, oh, oh my God, this is terrible. Mm. I still want to cook it some more though, I feel like. The flavor, it's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. It is so delicious. <laughs> it didn't sound right, guys. Anyways, this is probably not even the right kind of onion. Honestly, knowing me, I'd have the wrong kind of onion. Broccoli and rice, pretty self-explanatory, but so delicious. I cooked the steak in lots of garlic and 
delish and I'm gonna have the little onion with it and like mm, it's gonna be so good so bon appetit